Hi everyone, it's Marta here. I will show you today my new mixed media art. This is a altered frame. I should say two frames, you will see in a minute. Um, this make was created as part of Finavar Creative Team, our monthly project. I hope you will enjoy it and find some inspiration to make your own mixed media piece. So let's start. Here we have uh, two plastic frames which I bought in pound stores. I'm sure you have some local stores which you can buy cheap things. Uh, this is nothing too fancy, not expensive, just plain plastic frames um, which I decided to use and alter. And I got them ages ago and they were just waiting for me to do something with it. I'm using 3D glass gel to stick them together and the reason I'm doing it is because gloss gel is flexible after drying so nothing will fall apart. I love glue gun but there is a big chance that after glue gun things can fall apart after drying. After some time of course. My next step is to use a black gesso and to cover the whole surface. Um, so here we have both frames stuck together, covered with black gesso. My next step is to create a composition from metal pieces and stick them by using same 3D gel. Um, it doesn't have to be gloss uh, 3D gel, it can be matte as well, there's no difference. Uh, I'm using different bits and pieces, uh, metal bits and pieces, which some of them are from Fenavar from Prima make and some of them are just my metal bits that I purchased some time ago. Metal bits that I purchased somewhere, I don't have a brand and a name, they just bought over internet some time ago. And here is the part where my movie is black and white. I don't know how this happened and how come I didn't see it while I was editing. So sorry for that. It's not gonna last long. It will be back to normal pretty, pretty soon. So here we have. I'm adding some paper flowers to uh, finish my metal composition. And I'm using all the time 3D uh, gel which works perfect as a glue. My next step is to add um, microbeads, uh, small glass beads, glass glitter, all the uh, fantastic uh, art ingredients from Finavar. I'm dipping my brush into gloss gel first and then I'm dipping the same brush into small jars filled with art extravaganza and those will be either glass glitter or microbeads so whatever you you like to add as a texture to your project i'm 
I'm using hot glue gun to create uh, an extra 3D element uh, so they look like uh, beads or pearls uh, and they will look great after drying. Again, our next step is to cover everything with black uh, gesso. And this is a time-consuming process to cover every inch of the project. But if you want, that's okay because uh, when you start coloring, uh, nobody will see that there was some black missing. As you can see, not everything is perfect here. Uh, I'm adding my colors now. I decided to use different colors of Inca Gold. Uh, those are beautiful metallic paints, uh, as you can see with a great uh, texture of a paste. Uh, very shimmery metallic with a great shine. Uh, there is a vibrant color, but not that dark. It's all quite pale and bright. And here is uh, the frame and nearly fully covered with the colors. My next step is to outline everything with heavy white gesso. Uh, by using a dry brush, dry gesso, you will uh, see certain elements to stand out more. I decided to add a little bit more extra color uh, by using silks. Uh, those are um, different type of uh, metallic paints. I think there is a different consistency as well and just a different shimmer of the paints and the color is more intense. So this is what I wanted to uh, achieve, add a bit of more uh, color and different shading. Lastly, we are going to be using uh, some more gesso again uh, to outline and make some elements to pop more. I hope you don't mind uh, that the video right now is quite fast. It's just because um, the project itself is quite big and to do all of that uh, it would just take so much time and I didn't want the video to be uh, boring so here we have my finished frame if you enjoyed my video uh, don't forget to subscribe for more tutorials to come and if you enjoyed this one uh, maybe hit the thumb up and be sure to share with me your makes uh, if you created some mixed media pieces inspired by this one. Uh, have a great week and I talk to you soon. Bye bye.